It's easy to forget given the wonderful sumo he's since fought, but it's incredible the extent to which Asanoyama's fortunes turned on that wrongly awarded win against Tojinoshin last year. As his father now cheerfully reminds us, he went on, last May, to become the first top division title winner of the Reiwa era. Last week, he became the first Ozeki of this era. And that's far from the only history he's made. Four years ago, alongside Yutakayama, he was the first university wrestler to join at the bottom of Division 4 under Sumo's new system. He's thus the first Sandanmei 100 debutant to make Ozeki. He's the first Ozeki to come out of Takasago stable since this man in 2002, and the first out of Toyama in 111 years, and only the third overall. And that's why he's in line for a People's Honor Award from his home prefecture. And there's more. He's the eighth university Ozeki in professional sumo, the second from both Kindai University and Takasago Stable, the first man in both cases being his current coach. He's just the fourth Ozeki to be born post-1989, behind Takakesho, Takayasu, and Teruno Fuji. And, behind Teru no Fuji, he's made the second fastest leap through Sanyaku to Ozeki, just the three tournaments required at Komusubi and Sekiwake. Now, with that last one especially, he was reliant on quite a bit of goodwill. Although 33 wins across three tournaments are the official promotion guidelines, he only, inverted commas, achieved 32. Indeed, Asanoyama himself confessed that after losing to Kakuryu by a whisker on the final Saturday, he felt his Ozeki chances had gone. But, as NHK pundit Kitano Fuji said, it's all about the mood. Do they want to promote him? And when co-commentator Mainomi twice responded by noting that Kitano Fuji himself had made Ozeki with just 28 wins, the veteran pundit comically threatened to cut him out of his life. A more measured comment came from stand-in chief judge Sakai Gawa, who said, 33 wins is only a guideline. His style was majestic enough. He relies completely on his own power and doesn't rely on his opponent's momentum. We had some quite exhaustive discussions and concluded that if he won his final match, we'd send him up. With everything he's endowed with, he's got the necessary potential to make the highest rank. Well might Sankei Sports newspaper compare this decision to futures trading. Sakaigawa is no lone wolf when it comes to praising the new Ozeki's potential. Ex-Yokozuna Kisenosado noticed it as early as autumn 2017 and duly singled him out for extra practice. Even then, as a top division newcomer, I felt he had not only the power, but the shape that could take him to Yokozuna level, he said. 44-time champion Hakuho, you may remember, kept hawk-like eyes on Asanayama from spring 2018, saying that with a right-hand grip of such strength, he really should have been rising faster. And among the current coaching community, ever keen to give technical advice, there's real optimism that Asanayama can stake a claim for the sacred white-roped belt. Dewanomi Oyakata, one of two sumo messengers bringing official news of the promotion, said, I want him to polish his head-on sumo a little more and aim for the next level. Sankei Sports bout analyst Fujishima, an ex-Ozeki, added, He's got bags of potential with that orthodox inside right, but he shouldn't just be coming out with a clanging right and lunging for the outside left. He'll look even more solid if he pushes his way in first. And Chairman Hakaku, himself an ex-Yokozuna, said, I've got high hopes for him. He's fighting some dignified sumo. From now on, he has to further brush up his inside right, generate more energy from across the body, show a devil-like ruthlessness upon that dohyo, and devote his entire existence to sumo. 
Asanayama himself gave quotes aplenty at his promotion press conference last Wednesday, which all but three reporters joined by audio link due to current antivirus restrictions. For now, let me leave you with his best quote. I wanted to bring some happy news to the world for a change. I'm aiming to be an Ozeki who is respected by all the little kids and the older ones who will one day turn professional.